some historic Rupp Arena in Lexington, Kentucky. Longtime SEC rivals collide. 13th-ranked Kentucky welcomes the Volunteers of Tennessee. Their backs to the basket are very comfortable facing the basket and playing off of one another. Stokes with six points and four rebounds just over two and a half minutes in. Randall in the lane, and he's able to put Kentucky on the board. 19 double doubles between the two. Randall has 10, and Darnell Stokes has nine. The kick out to Randall for three, and it's good. Julius Randall with the first three pointer of his career. He had been 0 for 7 to start the season. He doesn't necessarily need that lift. That's not his game. He likes to defend, he likes to pass and score at the rim. As Randall knocks down another, and Tennessee is firing on all cylinders in this first half. Andrew Harrison trying to answer, and he does. Nice to have a guy that can go get you one late in the shot clock, and McCray playing with so much confidence and poise here this season in his senior year. And there's Randall doing what he does. He's showing you his full arsenal. He's made a three, he's hit a mid-range J, and he's gotten to the offensive glass. Excellent work here by Randall. Just beats the ball. Randall right inside, kicks out to Andrew Harrison. He knocks down the three. Well done. Well done. For Charnell Stokes. That's like checkmate for Stokes. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> Andrew Harrison comes off the screen and knocks it down. That's his second three of the ball game. Young on the perimeter. So look at Stokes work, move those feet and keep his body on Pauly Stein there. Aaron Harrison for three. It's good. Aaron Harrison dials it up from deep and a big shot for Kentucky. Five turnovers in the first half for Kentucky. The alley to Stokes not doing. And here comes Randall. Randall right at Maiman. Puts it up off the glass and in. Count it. And the foul. Out of a slump. Boy, he's been on top of his stuff today. That's a tough call. Four points. He averages two per game in just seven minutes a night, and Julius Randle still can't miss. He's six out of seven now in the first half. But three turnovers in the last four trips for Tennessee. One minute to go in the first half. Kentucky has not led today. Young trying to give them their first lead, and he does. In handling his opportunities. 16 points in the first half for Randall to lead all scorers. Jarnell Stokes already with a double-double. That's his ninth of the season. He's got 12 points and 11 boards. In fact, Stokes has more rebounds than all of Kentucky, but if they keep firing from the outside like that, it's not going to matter. Compete and be efficient in the first half, and he thought if that was the case, it would bode well for his experienced group to handle whatever needed to be done in the second half. Kari Johnson gets the rebound and puts it back up and in. Young comes off the screen. Kentucky leads it by two. Trying to improve the 13 and four on the season. Andrew Harrison lays it in with the right hand. Got to finish those around the goal. get a lot of opportunities against Kentucky because of the shot blocking. Paulie Stein and even Randall can deny shots too. A steal, James Young, the wrecking ball! <laughs> CBS Sports coverage of NCAA men's basketball will continue after this message and a word from your local station. Been well played, hotly contested, and pretty well officiated. Bodies flying. When we talked about it at the top of the telecast, they've got good balance, but it's not been on display here so far in terms of the perimeter shooting. Andrew Harrison hangs, and the tip by Dakari Johnson is good. Can Kentucky, this young team that's shown 
really positive progress the last two games. Continue to execute down the stretch in a tight game. Harrison playing well. He's just matched his career high by knocking down that jumper. 18 for Andrew Harrison. 8.45 to go. Kentucky still clinging to a five-point advantage. Corner three is good. Aaron Harrison this time. And the Twins have caught fire in the second half. Shot making is an elixir. And here you take a look. Just a bad angle by Amarni Moore. And a wide open three. Nice cut. Aaron Harrison plays it in. The vision from Paulson and the finish from Aaron Harrison. It's a 10-point Kentucky lead. Excellent curl by Aaron Harrison in a tough finish. And Kentucky clicking on all cylinders. Not a bad strategy, perhaps, to try to disrupt the rhythm of Kentucky. And force them to have to execute offense with a shorter shot clock. And Julius Randle is back into the game. Zone defense here by Tennessee. Andrew Harrison's floater is good. 20 points for Andrew Harrison, a new career high. Last three trips to the Wildcats, two turnovers and a missed field goal. 10 on the shot clock. Andrew Harrison to the hoop. Puts it in. What a day for Andrew Harrison. He's got 22 points. With six seconds left, Randall inbounds, and Tennessee will not foul. That'll do it from Rupp Arena. The final score, 74 to 66 in favor of Kentucky. For Clark Kellogg, this is Andrew Catalan saying so long from Lexington. Coming up next, game two of our triple header, North Carolina State at Duke. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports, home of the 2014 Men's National Championship.